Today, I want to dive into a spicy topic. I want to do a cross comparison between cheap filament versus expensive filament for your 3D printing. And by the way, I'm 3D print dude. 3D printing enthusiasts often find themselves debating the merits of cheap filament versus expensive filament. Is it worth spending more for premium brands or can you get the same on a budget? In this video, we're going to break down the key points drawing from Community Insights and myself to help you on the decision, cheap filament versus expensive filament for 3D printing. Let's first talk about manufacturing origins, and I know that might sound a little weird, right? Ethics. A significant portion of the filament market is dominated by a handful of manufacturers based in China. Who would have thunk, huh? Yes, these companies produce filament for numerous brands, often resulting in similar products under different labels. OMG! When choosing between cheap and expensive filaments, consider the origin and ethical implications. Supporting domestic manufacturers can ensure that you're getting a product made under certain regulations, while also contributing to local economies. Or translated, do you want to give the money to China, or do you want to keep it in the U.S.? Not to get political, but it is something to think about. Next, let's talk about consistency and print quality. One of the main advantages of expensive filament is its consistency. Reliable print quality often hinges off the uniformity of filament. Users have noted that premium filaments generally offer excellent consistency, which leads to better print outcomes usually, right? While budget brands can also be reliable, they sometimes suffer from quality control issues, resulting in inconsistent diameters and impurities that can jam and damage extruders. Cheap filament might work fine for non-critical parts, but for prints requiring high dimensional accuracy and strength, better quality filament can make a significant difference. For instance, some budget filaments have been reported to have diameter variations from 1.7 millimeters to 3.5 millimeters, which is crazy, right? And obviously that can impact your print quality. Next, let's talk about additives and moisture sensitivity. Filament additives can also play a crucial role in performance. Some higher end PLA filaments come with additives that reduce moisture sensitivity, which is beneficial for maintaining filament quality over time. Premium filaments often come with features like resealable bags, integrated silica gel, which helps manage moisture and ensures better print results. Next, I want to talk about layer height and speed adjustments. Printing at different layer heights can reveal differences between cheap and expensive filaments. For instance, issues are more apparent at finer layer heights. While cheap filaments can sometimes achieve satisfactory results at larger layer heights, they may require slower print speeds to avoid quality issues. This trade-off might be acceptable for some users, but can be a huge drawback for those needing faster print times without sacrificing quality. So to conclude, both cheap and expensive filaments have their place in 3D printing. For casual or non-critical projects, budget filament can be sufficient and cost effective. However, for high precision, strong and detailed prints, investing in higher end filament can lead to better results and fewer headaches. Ultimately, the right filament choice depends on your specific needs, budget, and values. By understanding the trade-offs and benefits of each option, you can make informed decisions that best suit your 3D printing. And you might be asking yourself, hey man, you didn't give us a definitive answer. And if you want my honest opinion, I sit somewhere in between. If I need a print that has super high tolerances and it's super important to be stronger, I go with a higher quality filament. But if it's a cheaper build that's kind of crap for like a kid or something, I go with a super cheap PLA. I'll throw links to my top five favorite filament brands on Amazon in the description. I earn a small percentage. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. I'm a normal dude and do reply. And please consider subscribing. The print has finally finished. And I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good. Let's take it off the plate here. All right. Man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. <laughs> How did that break? You win. <laughs> 